Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm just going to be sharing with you how I'm making meals for the week. Um, I'm going to be cleaning out my pantry and y'all always want to know what meals I make with what's left in my pantry. There is barely anything and it's Sunday and I need to order my groceries for the week. So that's what I'm going to do today. I am exhausted. I am so tired. I took the kids with me to go see my parents for the weekend and it was just me and the kids. And we drove, you know, three hours there and then we did that Friday. And then today I drove back with them and I so badly just want to order a pizza or something like that. I'm going to try to not do that because I spent money this weekend, you know, stopping to get snacks in the car. So I'm going to try to resist the urge to order food and I'm going to make something this evening even though I'm really tired and I don't want to. But sometimes you have to do that. You're going to watch me? <laughs> Are you gonna say hi? <laughs> Are you gonna help me cook later? Yeah? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out, you know, the stuff I have left in my pantry, and then I will decide what I'm gonna cook. All right, guys, this is absolutely the saddest thing ever. My pantry is so bare. This is literally it. Gravy mix, onion soup mix, chickpeas, cranberry sauce, rice, beans, spaghetti noodles, lasagna noodles, black olives, cream of chicken, tomato soup, orzo, quinoa, pancake mix, more rice freezer I have a ton of frozen chicken bread hash browns frozen spinach and y'all my freezer has been taken over by breast milk that's all breast milk except I've got a gumbo and a roast so I don't have a lot at all oh and I have some frozen fish down there see I wasn't joking there's like nothing left so, obviously, I'm gonna have to get creative. Um, I'm trying to not spend a lot this week. I'm gonna give myself like a $50 budget because I already spent $50 on groceries from a different grocery order this week. Um, so I'm gonna have to keep this really, really basic. I only need meals for like four or five nights, so. I'm gonna try to see what I can come up with. Okay, so one thing that I usually do whenever I have to figure out recipes is I look them up if I don't have some like in a cookbook that I just know of. Uh, sometimes I get overwhelmed with cookbooks because it takes a lot of effort and work to have to look through them. Uh, but I have been loving this app called Favor Eats and especially some of the features on this app are amazing. It is basically like a Pinterest for recipes in an app by itself. And this is going to be a game changer for you. Let me explain. All right, so it is like a Pinterest, but for cooking and recipes. So what's really cool is it has a pantry feature and I can check off items that are in my pantry that I can then use to search for recipes on the app. So I'm gonna do that really, really quick. All right, so now I'm going to search 
with some of these items. So I'm going to type in chicken, um, rice, black olives, and we're going to see. All right, so I'm getting a lot of different examples of like some wild rice soup I could do. So I think I'm gonna put that on the list for the week. So this is the recipe I'm gonna add. It's like a Panera type of soup, chicken, rice. And I'm gonna push the calendar button and I'm gonna pick the day of the week that I wanna add it to. So whenever it's that day, I just click it and there you go. But tonight is the issue. I need to know what I'm cooking tonight. So I'm super impressed. There is a recipe called Cheesy Chicken Dorito Casserole and I'm gonna get to, um, looks like this, but I'm gonna get to use chicken, rice, black olives, the only thing that I'm gonna need to order is, I already have cheese, I just need to order sour cream and Rotel and Doritos. And that's what we're gonna eat tonight and I think my kids are gonna love it because it has Doritos. All right, so I'm actually gonna show y'all, I think in the video, how this meal turns out because I think it's really interesting. But if you are interested in the app, I will leave the details down below in the description box. This app has been a lifesaver since I've been back at work. Planning meals has been challenging. I haven't had as much time or energy and really I've just been eating some unhealthy food <laughs> and I need to get back on track. So this isn't a lifesaver for me. I will put the information down below in the description box for the app if you are interested. You can use my code, I will put it right here and this is gonna give you a discount on the premium subscription. Go ahead and follow me too on the app and you can see what I'm cooking every week and you can follow your friends and see what they're cooking too. All right, so the rest of my meals for the week are planned out. This is literally how I do it. There's nothing fancy about it. I'm gonna do bacon, eggs, and hash browns one night because I already have hash browns and pancake mix. So we're gonna do breakfast. I'm gonna do the Dorito casserole tonight and I'm gonna show you how that turns out. I'm gonna do the wild rice soup that was on the Favorite Eats app too. This night we eat pizza. This night I'll probably like just get the kids something um, out to eat because that's easy, my husband works. And then we're gonna do beans and rice one evening too because that is super cheap. I already have the beans and the rice and the onion soup mix. I just need to get some Rotel and we are done for the week. All right, I just got my Instacart order and this was $47.33. So by the time I added like a tip, or whatever it was just a little over fifty dollars so we're doing good in that department i'm gonna show you how to make my meal um that i showed you earlier now all right so this is all it's gonna take to make this um except some chicken so i'm gonna do two cups of like shredded chicken i already have my rice that i cooked in my instant pot Milk, cream of chicken, black olives. I had to buy Rotel sour cream. I already had the cheese. And I got my Doritos and cilantro. So let's see how this turns out and if the kids like it.
Thanks so much for watching guys. Stay tuned to next week's video. I am going to be sharing with you my all time go to straight up cheap crock pot meals <laughs> that you can throw together whenever you don't have a lot of money. So stay tuned for that. I will see you next week. Bye everybody.